Welcome back to tonight's Who Wants to Be a Super Over Rainbow Up to Cloud9 Millionaire. Before the break, Ariel was asked a question for 100,000 gems, which was, what colour are zebras? She wasn't sure, so she asked the audience with 43% saying black and white and 41% saying white and black. She took the 50-50, but it didn't do her any good. And then she decided to go with black and white since a mere 2% more of the audience went for it. Bearing in mind that another 2% of them thought the answer was green, I'm just saying. Yes, well, can you just tell me if I was right? Uh, I can. Well then? You've just... Yes? Lost. No! Minus 100,000 gems! What? You got it right. So that is 100,000 gems, but we don't want to give you that, and we don't have to give you that because it's not guaranteed since you chose to play the give me more money mode. So if you get any of the next questions wrong, you will lose a lot of money. Having said that, if you get any of them right, you will win a lot of money. You are also about to get sucked through a wormhole straight into our brand new dimension. Necessary? Um, yes. Anyway, entering our new dimension grants you two extra lifelines the flippity flip and the double T dip. You know exactly how they work. One of them lets you change the question, and the other one lets you guess twice for a price. Hey, that rhymes. No, it doesn't. Y yes, it you does. You also still have your phone a friend. So, three lifelines, four questions. Are you ready? Absolutely. Bring it on. Okay, we're going to bring it on. This one is for half a million. Which of the following activities would you normally expect to see a dolphin do? Scream, flip, shout, cry. So, uh, being a marine biologist, this should be your perfect question. Well, I think it's the first time I've seen a question and been 100% sure. So, what are you thinking? I think I'll go with flip, please, Purcell. Sure. Positive. Okay. If you had to have given me an answer, what would you have said? Well, flip, I said flip. Okay, so you've used your lifeline, but what answer would you have gone for? Oh. No, Purcell, I meant the answer flip. Oh, Tret. <laughs> Isn't this funny? I, I do apologise. So, sorry, sorry. Would you have said flip? Yes! Let's see if it was right. Ugh! Yikes. I'm sorry. Uh, well, well, this is a bit awkward. Uh, anyway, that question is gone now. Let's have another question for 500,000. Which of the following fast food chains has become the symbol of capitalism? Burger King. Subway, McDonald's, KFC. Okay, so not as good as the dolphin question, but I have an idea anyways because I recently saw Super Size Me. Uh, oh, uh, what's, what's that about? It's about this man who gets his every meal from McDonald's. Uh, oh, sort of like me then? Yeah! Wait, what do you mean? Well, every day... I get a Big Mac for breakfast with a side order of chips or uh, fries as they insist on calling them. Then I'll feast on some chicken McNuggets for lunch with some more fries. And then for tea, I'll go for two quarter pounder cheeseburgers, more fries, and a McFlurry for pudding. Uh, okay. So, how, um, how are you still alive? Well, I have a tiny bit of salad with every meal. That's not enough! Well, well, I get my five a day, you know. I have three milkshakes, one with every meal, strawberry, banana and chocolate. Then we've got tomato and leaves in the salad, and Robert's your uncle, five a day. Chocolate doesn't count. Besides, those milkshakes don't contain any real fruit. Only lies. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm still standing. 
I've been eating there for eight years and I've only had 17 heart attacks. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's obviously bad for you. Wait, what's that you're drinking? A Mars bar milkshake. It's, it's limited edition. But that's not... I mean... You know what? I'm just going to stop talking to you now. Anyways, I'd like to go with C. Oh, McDonald's. That's a good idea. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I'm not allowed to offer advice. I'll, I'll just finish my milk milkshake. C. Final answer. You've just. <gasps> oh, sorry. I, I've just got this sharp pain in my upper chest. Jesus, Louise's Christ. Uh, we should probably get some paramedics over here. Nah, don't worry. It happens all the time. Anyways, you've just won half a million gems! Oh, great. But are you going to be alright? I'll be just fine. Anyways, I think I'll ask the questions round here, Ariel, if you don't mind. And speaking of questions, this next one's for one million gems. Answer it correctly and you will be our second millionaire. You've still got two lifelines left. And remember, you do not have to answer the question. Which of the following films is approximately 133 minutes long? The Shawshank Redemption, Rain Man, The Godfather, or Titanic? Okay, so I'm not 100% about this one. Well, you do not have to answer this question. You can still phone a friend, and you can still, dramatic pause, double dip. Right, well, it's definitely not Titanic, because that film was ridiculously long. Wasn't it? Yeah, because you have all those ridiculous scenes where she's an old woman, which just seem completely unnecessary. I think Titanic was about three hours, which would be 180 minutes. Don't know about the other three, so the double dip is too risky. I think I'll phone a friend. Uh, good idea. Who do you want to ring? I think I'll call Sebastian. He's a bit of a film buff. Right, let's get Sebastian on the line. I, uh... Hello, can I speak to Sebastian, please? Yeah, that's me. Oh, right. Well, who do you think it was? Oh, I, I, I just expected you to sound Jamaican. Why? I, uh... I, I don't know. Anyways, Ariel has won half a million gems. Jesus. And she's about to play for a million. Christ. Not to put pressure on you, but you are the most expensive phone a friend we've ever had. And a wrong answer would cost her 495,000 gems. I'm running out of expletives. I'm going to pass you over to Ariel, and you have 30 seconds, which commence now. Sebastian, which of these films, F-I-L-M-S, is approximately A-P-P-R-O-X-I-M-A-T-E-L-Y, 133 minutes long? Rain Man. But I haven't read out the options yet. I don't care, it's Rain Man. I told you he was a film buff. So what are you going for? What do you think? So is the Shawshank Redemption your final answer? Yes, fine. Wait, why would I go for that one? Uh, well, well, I don't know. Then why would you... Oh, never mind. Rain Man, final answer. Well, Ariel, if you had gone for Shawshank... I'd have been wrong. You'd have been wrong. Congratulations, you've just won one million gems! Yes! So, Ariel, you are our second millionaire. How do you feel? I'm absolutely buzzing. But... You picked the super risky mode, so that means that we don't stop here. You can carry on and play for more money. 
and if you answer the next question correctly, you will be our second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth millionaire all rolled into one. You still have one lifeline, but let me warn you a wrong answer here would cost you 995,000 gems. Also remember, you do not have to answer the question. Anyways, are you ready? Yes. Are you steady? Yes. Then let's cook. Bring it on! Oh, wait, what? Which of the following star signs are held by conceited, immodest, and unimaginative people? Aquarius. Cancer. Virgo. Capricorn. Well, that sums you up perfectly. <laughs> hey, I I'm not conceit. Fine, but I'm not immod... Fine, but I'm definitely not unimagined. Well, fair enough. So what sign are you then? Well, there is no way I'm telling you that. Like all Capricorns, I wasn't born yesterday. How dread. <laughs> so you're a Capricorn then? Fine, you got me. But that doesn't mean that all Capricorns are like me. Although Jesus wasn't really that imaginative. I mean, he could have turned water into anything, but he chose wine? Boring. And very conceited. Yeah, oh, look at me. I'm the son of God. I'm so perfect. Jesus, give it a rest. <laughs> Literally. Uh, wh what do you mean? Because you said... <sighs> Never mind. Anyway, how much do I lose if I get this one wrong? You lose... Yikes! You would lose 995,000 gems if you gave me a wrong answer here. A lot of money. I mean, I've still got the double dip, but I feel quite confident. Even before you told me you were a Capricorn. I'm a Virgo, and I'm a very modest person. I'd have thought you'd have been Aquarius, being a mermaid. No! <laughs> Sebastian's a Cancer, and he doesn't seem that conceited, and I do know a lot of Aquariuses. But they are definitely not unimaginative. Although my dad was one, and... Hmm, it could be Aquarius. I might have to use the double. No, it's got to be Capricorn. Yeah, I think I'll go for Capricorn. Final. That's my final answer. Wow, you've taken a massive risk, Ariel. I know. You had a million. Now you have five million gems. <laughs> Get in! Get, get in where? Does it matter? So you are now our second to sixth millionaire. If you get this next question right, you will hold all the titles from 2 through to 11. Surely it doesn't work like that. So let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. This next question is for 10 million gems. It is a ludicrous amount of money. You do not... You do not have to play the question. You still have your double dip lifeline, but unlike the other ones, it is a very risky one to use because if you use it, you would have to play the question. Anyways, you've got five million. Sounds surreal, doesn't it? You have five million gems, enough money to change your life and back again. So let's have a look at the final question, the 11th question out of 11 for 10 million gems. Here it is. What is the only thing more important than money? Love, happiness, self-worth, nothing. Wow. The only thing more important than money, love, happiness, self-worth, or nothing. Just to remind you, we are going for 10 million gems. Hmm. I think it's love. I'm sure I've heard that before. Let me just remind you that you have, at the moment, got 5 million gems, which is 
which is actually more money than I even get paid for doing this program. You do not have to play the question, and a wrong answer, a wrong answer, would cost you 4,995,000 gems. It is essentially double or nothing at this point. Well, I don't know if I should go for it. I could use the double dip in case I'm wrong. At this moment, you do not have to play the question. You could leave. You could actually, you could leave right here, right now, with five million gems. Choosing a double dip would commit you to the question. I really feel like it's love, but I feel that I might as well use the double dip so that if I'm wrong, which I don't think I am, I can at least have another shot. I'm sure I've heard love before, but it's so risky. I have five million gems. Not if you use the double dip, though. Purcell? Yes. I want to use it. Right. Let's just take a second to make sure you're absolutely sure. If you use it, if you use it, you will not leave with the five million. You'll either have the full ten million or a measly five thousand. Are you absolutely sure? You want to use your last lifeline on this question. Yes. Sir Ariel, no going back now. Wow, this is intense. Well, it should be. If you hadn't noticed, we are playing for a lot of money. So you must now answer the question: What is your first answer going to be? I hope this is right. Whew. I am going to go with love. I pray this is the last time I say this. I'm sure it's love. I'm sure I've heard that love is the only thing more important than money. Now give me the money. Love. Final answer. Ariel. Yes. I really want to tell you it's right. And. And I'm afraid I can't. No! Oh no! Now there is some good news here. If we had just gone with love, we would have lost nearly everything. However, you do get another go. What do you think?、Uh, I don't know. One of them is worth ten million. The other two are worth five thousand, and you must give me an answer. I, I didn't think I would actually end up in this situation. I really did think it was love. Now I've got a guess for ten million gems. Any ideas at all? No, I have no idea, and I just—I don't want to be in this position. <laughs> I am going to need you to answer the question. Ariel. Okay, Ariel, just just listen. Okay, this is something we've never done before, but. I can see you are in a bit of a distress. There is a lot of money at stake. So, we've never done this during a question before. But I'm going to cut to a break right now, and give you a few minutes just to retrace your thoughts. Would that be okay? Yes, yes, please. Okay, guys, don't go anywhere because after the break, you will see Ariel pick one of these answers and see if she can win ten million gems. Don't go anywhere.